Alright, good day. Thank you. Alright, my name is Stokely Gray. I am a representative of New Tree 4 Wellness Solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we're a company that your employer hired us to give you a little nutrition education. Mm -hmm. and, um, and today we're going to learn a little bit about solid fats and uh, added sugars. Okay. Okay, so I'll just go over briefly what we're going to touch on. Um, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to identify what sulfurs are. Sulfurs are solid fats and added sugars. And we want to know how they are contributing to unwanted calories. Uh, the second thing, uh, we're going to look at common foods and see uh, how much sulfur is uh, in these common foods. And then, um, next we're going to have a, a little soda mixing. Um, mm -hmm. Example mm -hmm. uh, where we will make um, soda using orange juice and um, seltzer water. Mm -hmm. And at the end, I'll give you a little quiz to mm -hmm. see what you learn mm -hmm. and see if you could um, remember anything we went over. Okay, so sulfurs. Sulfurs are solid fats and added sugars. What are they? Sulfurs are foods that we eat. Uh, that contain little to no nutrients. They contribute to the excess daily calorie intake and uh, they significantly increase our risk of um, chronic heart disease. Uh, sulfur that are found in um, solid fats are found in processed meats. Meats uh, mm -hmm. are found to increase um, colorectal cancer mm -hmm. and um, added sugars mm -hmm. are known to uh, increase the risk of getting cavities or dental caries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some examples of added sugars. Mm -hmm. As you can see on this slide here, uh, when you look at um, foods that you buy in the store and you see ingredients, mm -hmm. high fructose corn syrup, mm -hmm. pancake syrup, mm -hmm. um, raw sugar, mm -hmm. maple syrup, malt mm -hmm. syrup, fructose sweetener, mm -hmm. honey, and hydrous dextrose mm -hmm. and crystal dextrose. Mm -hmm. These are some added sugars. Once you add these to certain foods, mm -hmm. you're getting extra calories, mm -hmm. but you're not getting much nutrient with those calories. Okay. Okay. So added sugars are just just added calories to the food with mm -hmm. few or no nutrients, as mm -hmm. I said before. When people eat foods with added sugar, they are mm -hmm. consuming extra calories I don't need. Uh, I don't know if you can see this graph here. Um, it shows uh, sources of added sugars in the diets mm -hmm. of US population. Okay, as we can see here, the main source mm -hmm. of added sugar mm -hmm. soda. is soda. Mm -hmm. Then we have grain-based desserts. Mm -hmm. And then we have fruit drinks. Mm -hmm. As well as okay. Okay, can you see this graph yes. here? It shows examples of sources of solid fats in diets of the U.S. population. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, grain-based desserts mm -hmm. is another big one, just as we saw with added sugars. Mm -hmm. And we have pizza, mm -hmm. cheese, mm -hmm. um, sausage, franks, bacon, ribs, mm -hmm. uh, fried white potatoes, mm -hmm. um, and then dairy desserts, mm -hmm. and so on. So now we're going to look at how much uh, sugar do we actually consume mm -hmm. uh, when we have certain drinks. Mm -hmm. For example, this is Red Bull, which is a popular drink um, mm -hmm. for people who work in the night shift mm -hmm. um, in order to stay up. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Bull contains about 5 teaspoons of added sugar mm -hmm. in an 8 ounce can. Mm -hmm. And then you have Coca-Cola and Sprite. Mm -hmm. They each contain 8 teaspoons of added sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, the 24 ounce mm -hmm. bottle of Coca-Cola has about 16 teaspoons mm -hmm. of sugar. And then Pepsi, mm -hmm. 20 ounce bottle of uh, Mountain Dew mm -hmm. has about 15 and a half teaspoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right now I'm going to just give you, mm -hmm. show you some... Mm -hmm. Popular drinks. 
Mm -hmm. And this is basically showing you how mm -hmm. much sugar is in each mm -hmm. food. So you can look at these real quick. This is one 12 ounce soda. That's how much added sugar is. Mm -hmm. You said added sugar. Is that is that to be taken that the ingredients already have sugar to it? And well, this is just that plus this? Well, some, some foods mm -hmm. have carbohydrates mm -hmm. with a part of it. Mm -hmm. However, added sugars are what does not occur naturally in the oh, food. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, when you have grain-based desserts, mm -hmm. um, they're made from um, starches. Mm -hmm. You know, flour has mm -hmm. carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. However, the added sugar is what we're really looking at. Mm -hmm. Because when you get flour, you do also get other um, nutrients with it. You get mm -hmm. fiber, different vitamins and minerals that are part of the starch itself. Mm -hmm. However, when you look at added sugars, uh, yeah. this is just giving you a, a whole bunch of calories and, None of the benefits, uh. and nothing really benefiting. Mm. Yeah. So, on label, you will see mm. you know, ice cream. One cup of ice cream has that amount of sugar. Mm. This is um, a fourth ounce glass of um, apple juice. Apple juice. Now you have a Hershey's candy bar. Mm, it's a lot of sugar in Hershey's. Yeah. One Pop Tart. <laughs> mm, that's crazy. And then one cup of Fruit Loops, uh, Lucky Charms. Uh, and you know, typically when you eat Fruit Loops, you also put sugar. Add sugar. <laughs> <to> <laughs> <that> <laughs> so you're getting a lot of sugar. <laughs> And then, let me give you an example of some of the solid fats as well. These are some foods that have, um, and this glass is showing you how much fat is in each food. Okay. For example, four to six wings, buffalo wings. Mm. That's how much solid fat you get in, yeah. of added fat. Some buffalo wings? Yeah, four to six buffalo wings. Mm. So, but so is that to say that buffalo wings isn't good, or? Uh, <laughs> you know, man. I'm not saying a certain food isn't good or isn't yeah. bad. I'm just making you aware okay, okay, of okay. the content of the food and how much um of extra fat yeah. and so sugars. So I should eat four. I should eat two, huh? <laughs> well, if you want to eat uh, half the amount, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. you should eat two. Yeah. And then you have chicken strips. Cheese fries, strips, okay. a part of cheese fries, a part of serving of cheese fries. Yeah, cheese fries off the chain. Yeah. <laughs> and then onion rings. This is this is this is from the uh, uh, from the grease. Yeah. From the oil and stuff. Huh? Yeah, a lot of um and chicken food strips. that is the grease plus what the natural fat. The fat plus the um, the fat that comes with the food mm -hmm. as well as what you cook it in mm -hmm. contributes a lot to um, what solid fat is. I want to show you an example of what. Uh, can you tell me how much this weighs? This is an example of <laughs> fat right here. About six pounds, seven pounds. Yeah, it's about five pounds yeah. of fat. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, huh? Yeah? A lot of fat right here. Yeah. As we know, solid there's a lot of solid fats and added sugars in a lot of the foods we eat. Mm -hmm. um, um, especially added sugars have in added sugars, uh, certain beverages like sodas and juice drinks have a lot of added sugars. Mm -hmm. uh, some better beverage options that we can look at is um, drinking more water mm -hmm. and unsweetened food beverages mm -hmm. instead of sweetened food juices and soft drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, another option, drink water throughout the day. Mm -hmm. For variety, you could add lemons, limes, cucumbers mm -hmm. to your water or try carbonated water. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Sparkling water can be added to pure fruit juice to provide the taste of soft drink. Mm. And also artificial sweeteners mm -hmm. can be used for coffee or tea beverages. Mm -hmm. um, some artificial sweeteners include aspartame, um, sucralose, stevia. Mm -hmm. And these artificial sweeteners do not give you those um, extra calories mm -hmm. that um, you're trying to avoid. And then choose low fat or fat free milk instead of um, 100% fruit juices. That's one of the options. Yeah. If you like milk, um, mm. you can try low fat or fat free milk. Mm. And then diet sodas are a better alternative than the regular sodas, but water is the best way to quench its thirst. All right, so we're gonna do a quick demo. Okay. We have 100% fruit juice, orange juice. Mm -hmm. And and all we gotta do is add a little sparkling water. Mm. So give it a taste of a uh, soda juice. Yeah. So now you have a nice hundred percent orange juice mm. with a little bit of sparkling water, mm. and it has a yeah. uh, slight soda taste. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm gonna give you some handouts that you could um, share with your friends, uh, share with your workmates, and that handout basically that handout basically um, gives you the different guilt-free beverages <laughs> options. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, you have the ice cold water or sparkling water. Mm -hmm. um, adding lemon and cucumbers for mm -hmm. a twist. Uh, drinking low fat, fat free milk, that's also a better option than drinking soda. Mm -hmm. And uh, creating your own um, soda using the 100% fruit juice mm -hmm. and the sparkling water. Okay, okay. and this is something, uh, another handout that, just a reminder of um, some solid fats. So you can possibly stick this in your fridge or in the kitchen to remind you um, what solid fats. Alright, now I'm going to give you a quick assessment mm -hmm. to see if you can identify mm -hmm. the sofas. Um, okay. Solid fats are added sugars? Yeah. So the foods that are, that have solid fats, you just write SF next to it. Mm -hmm. Foods that have added sugars, mm -hmm. you write AS next to it. Mm -hmm. And foods that have few or no sofas, then mm -hmm. you just write NA next to it. Alright, so let's go over the foods real quick. Uh, sweetened applesauce. Mm -hmm. Sweetened applesauce does contain added sugar. Okay. However, unsweetened applesauce, you're just getting crushed apples, which is a um, few unknown um, empty calories. Okay, okay. And then um, regular ground beef mm -hmm. versus extra lean ground beef. The better option would be extra mm -hmm. lean ground mm -hmm. beef because it has less fat. Mm -hmm. Regular ground beef contains solid fat. Okay, and then fried chicken mm -hmm. versus baked chicken mm -hmm. without skin. Having fried chicken, mm -hmm. you know, you're cooking it in oil, you have that extra solid fats added. Uh, compared to baked chicken without mm -hmm. skin, you're using, you're not using that much oil when you're baking, and um, that's the better option right there. And then sugar sweetened cereals contain added sugars compared to um, unsweetened cereal. Mm -hmm. And then whole milk mm -hmm. uh, contains solid fats, milk mm -hmm. fat as we went over earlier, mm -hmm. compared to fat free milk which has um, no solid fats added. Alright, thank you very much for this yeah. education. <laughs> I open them, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I take a look over this and uh, Hopefully, I can bring myself to cut portions and something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah.